All right, guys, I did a whole intro, but I realized I filmed the intro with uh, the camera facing up and down, and I didn't want to do the whole video that way. Uh, so I was filming on the way in a little bit, and I realized I was filming sideways because it was still facing up and down. Anyway, it is pouring rain out here. I mean, torrential is a uh, safe, safe bet. Um, we're at Quarry Gorge. I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to hear me, so we're going to remain quiet. Uh, I was talking a lot about what to expect or what I think we'll expect as far as the activity is similar to uh, Nocturnal. When, when dark falls, um, you get kind of some of the same activity when it's, uh, when it's downpouring like this, so... Just something to keep in mind. We're gonna get the mirror, it has a light on it. I'm gonna turn the light on. Uh, it's pretty pretty dark out, so the flashlight was working, but the laser was working better. So I'm gonna pump that out a little bit here and there, see what we can get. Okay, turn your Zooming is going to be hard because it's soaking wet, but... This one looks worth it, wherever it may be. You just got to find it. There, up there. What is it? Behind the stump. You see right behind the stump? See what looks like a conical and eyes sitting on top of it? Not on top of the conical, just right on top of the... Alright, we'll try and get a little closer. Oh, I was trying to show earlier, like how it's a, it's like a straight up puddle everywhere. Uh, I lost sight of where that was. Okay. Last time we went in that way and then we ended up doubling back. Today, we're going to have to pick and choose. It had to be over here somewhere. See how far this thing goes? It's pretty good. You can see it good in, uh, in this kind of weather. You can see it good. Should have brought out the attachments, but I'll leave that for a, for a night outing. But it'll work out pretty good if we have to point at something. Obviously, I'm not going to shoot it into like a Sasquatch's eyes or anything to that effect, so. That's intriguing.
Alright, right, let's see now. Never mind. Okay. This looks like a game trail. Let's hope it doesn't lead us to into that water over there. I'm surprised we got this much footage. I ain't mad at it. Look at this. There's a tree brought in right here, it looks like. Unless it just uprooted right there. Fine, alright, no big deal. But right here, look at this bend. And it's tucked back there. And then there's an X ray next to it. Those two trees were brought in. They're small trees, granted, but they were still placed there. It's actually a double X if you come and look down here, too. There might be. There might be three of them. If you look here, there was something laying there, too. It might be hard to see, but... I'll try and keep the lens clear as possible. So... Yeah. That was made like that, look. These trees aren't from here. That's a branch, but that's a tree. They were, they were placed there like that. This might be right where it was sitting, right here. It looked it looked different than this, but I don't see the spot. It's all interconnected if you look at it closely. This is where we're going to gift right now. So, here's that mirror I was talking to you guys about. It's got a light on it. I'm going to leave the light on. As small the light as it is, it kind of blinded me. So, Alright, we'll leave that there. That's for you, my friends. Yeah, that's where the game trail goes back there. But that goes right into the water. Alright, bear with me guys, I'll be back. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see the mirror from here, but it's like right there. Right there. Okay. Again, apologies if you can't hear me. I got on a on um, a couple of hoods, so I might be speaking loud, I might be speaking low, I really can't tell. I'm just trying to judge what I think I should have my volume at. Yeah, look how flooded this is. So if we would have came down that game trail, we would have bloop bloop right into this. Right, we gotta find a canopy. So here's the, uh, look, it's flooded. It's flooded. This is the the gorge we took last night. Look, it's flooded out already. That's crazy. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this is, so this is where that guy came from last time. I don't know where the hell he came from, but he came from right through here somewhere. 
and then poof disappeared right that right back that way it's a nice place to stay dry right there I imagine a day like this that uh, the back of that cave is where we might catch something yeah look you can't you can't go down in it today it's flooded Alright, we unfortunately we can't be out here. <clears throat> There's lightning and thunder and I don't wanna be standing out in the open for too long. Yeah, I'm looking for a clean way through. It's pretty rugged up that way. I'm not saying you couldn't do it, but... If you had a dog with you, which you did, you'd, you'd, you'd think you'd want to take the most easiest route for them. I don't know, maybe some people are more extreme than I am. I guess I don't know. When I got my pup with me, I'm a, I'm a little extra cautious, but... I suppose there's also some dogs that do things like that more, more better than others. So we're obviously off trail right now. getting hit hard I don't know if I if one I have to angle it kind of a certain way because if a if a raindrop hits the screen the right way it hits the stop button so some of you asked me on that bend and tuck to go take a closer look Uh, I'm gonna go try and find it. It's around here somewhere. Oh, there's the one. Okay, so we gotta go up here. I think we gotta go up here in order to get on top of the other one. Looks like that's been closed all. That was broke too at one point. But a lot of this on this trail, where, where the stuff would have been coming across, it looks like maybe people keep coming through here. So maybe they broke it off piece by piece. 
Yeah, look at that up there. That's all them. Right there. It's fresh too. <clears throat> See how fresh? It's not huge, but right there. That's really fresh. Let's see if we can't. I really doubt I'm gonna make it up this steep, steep climb, but it's worth the shot. Maybe that's why this one, look at this. There's a tree laid over here, connecting to these, and this uh, tree bent into it. Even if I can get you a closer look at it. Show you what I see. Yeah, look. Look how many look how many trees are involved. Oh, man, I'm so exposed right now. Just my head has popped up over this. There's a pink ribbon on it too, look. See it back there? It's been marked. Okay. Something goes up here too. I can't do it. It's one thing if I got both hands to like drop down on the ground and scale it, scale it running up on all fours, but holding this makes it really all the more difficult. That. That's a nice overhang right there too. Could sit right there for quite a while. All right, so we're up on it now. I'll show it to you guys up close. It looks a lot different up close. I'll tell you that much. So that's a whole entire tree. It's not from there. See what I'm saying? That's not where it originated. It was brought to that spot. It's laid in the middle of a game trail. And then this. This is not. This is not a weak tree by any means. You could see where it's been. You can see the stress marks on it. See how it's pop, 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 pop. As it was being bent, it popped. Either that or that's where it was being pulled from. But I'd imagine you'd have to pull it from the top. I don't really know. I don't know. That's assuming that they use physical, you know, physical strength. I really don't know. I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they're able to bend it literally, like how they how they bend light or something. They're able to bend things without physically bending them. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna try to take you <clears throat> every step of the way. I'm gonna do my best to make it happen. But, I'll tell you right now, we're out of steps because I gotta get out of here. This is a. Uh, it's not pleasant.
Actually, you know what? I might hang out without the camera because that'll make it more easier. It's really the, the camera's what's stressing me out. Oh! See, again, because I could have braced myself a lot easier. This is not, this wasn't here last time. There's a couple of things laid up there with it, too. Oddly enough. Aiming the camera upward was not a good idea. Oh yeah, let's see, it looks a little different from from all the way down here. Uh, sorry guys. Try it. Should have dried it a little better. Nope. Alright. Let me pause it. All right, it's as good as it's gonna get. I think it's not even it's not even wet. It's just fogged out. This was the other one. Uh, again, there's a tree down here, and then this tree is. I'll show you how far away it is. One, two, three, four, about five steps. I don't want to step on their stuff if that is their stuff. Looks like glyphs. Uh, anyway, so this tree going down with literally this point where where, where it would have went down, where it would have affected this, it doesn't even have any, it doesn't even have any branches on it. So it would have just went straight down and just affect everything directly in its path, not something way over here. Now that one up there, if you look, that tree, that that one's tucked under, it's like 20 feet apart at least. I'm going to give you a little 360 view of it. Get a better feel. Normally we don't get this deep into it, but when people ask, I'm not going to, and I'm here. I mean, it's not like I'm going out of my way or like whatever. Like, this is too easy. There's the bend. That's the break. It's another break going under. But if you look at that tree back there, look how it's tucked. Goes under here. There's another break there. This one is actually broken into, it goes down and into another smaller break. Look, tiny little tree at the base. There's reasons for this. So this is how they, they they make a veil out of this stuff. Out of all this connecting energy. Like they use it. They they use all this connecting energy to hide right here in plain sight. Cloaking, using the veil, whatever. Hiding in the structure. What I don't I don't know how you put it, what, how you phrase it. But that's just one thing they do. I don't know. Maybe there's many other reasons. I don't know. I can only tell you what they taught me. That's what they taught me they use it for. So maybe there's more things. Maybe there's more reasons. I don't know. If there is, I don't know. I'm not going to walk around and talk about shit that I don't understand. Just for the sake of sounding like I'm an expert. I see that shit too many times. Don't ask me to name names because it's just a waste of time. Somebody sounds like they're bullshitting you, they're probably bullshitting you.
It don't even look real, do it? Like it looks, it kind of looks fake. Cool when the rain hits it too. When it hits, when it goes through the uh, when it goes through the beam, because you can't really see the beam right in front of us, because the rain keeps coming through. Again, I'm gonna put some of the uh, attachments on it, make some grids and stuff. Um, I thought I had kind of an original idea. But I came to find out that it's been done before, so um, I'm not going to sit around and uh, if you heard me like a couple weeks ago say I have this brilliant idea and I'm going to do this and then I kind of sounds like I lost steam on it, you know, I'm not mad at it. I, I think it's awesome that it's been, that it's been done because I found out that it works. Found out that it works like really, really well. Okay. Okay. Hang on, folks. Hang on, my friends. I need to show you what I see. Right there. Put in the dead center. Look on both sides of the tree. I don't know if it's one huge fella or... I'm gonna try to advance a little bit. like that they were gone as I say it all the time you take your eyes off them take your eyes off them and it's over okay. unless I lost the spot but I don't, I don't I was looking at them with my eyes and I don't see it no more. That's a big guy. I'd have to say that is one of the biggest I've ever seen. Because that would basically be his head. That would be an alpha. Very, very safe to say. I'll find a trail. Alright, guys out here it's a half hour video it looks like uh, yeah been out here almost 45 minutes it took like 15 minutes to get ready usually I just hop out of the truck and go bing, bing bang boom no grab the bag and go um,
takes a little while to prep when it's pouring like this. Anyway, I'm glad we got this long of a video. Wow, that was a big bang. I don't know where it came from. This is rock mountains all over the place. I don't know what the hell they are, but... Some people said that there's, there's stumps, like really old stumps. I don't know. I don't see why. A bunch of rocks would pile up on an old stump, but what the hell do I know? I guess, I don't know. I'm going to show you little structures so you don't miss them. Because a lot of people say, oh, I don't have structures. Where no, no. They're everywhere. Whether they're on the ground. See? Some of them are just on the ground. Yeah, you got to go up trail to find them because they're not going to be laying in the middle of a trail. You know what I'm saying? So all this ground connectivity. That's why I'm tippy-toeing. If you notice, I'm like, it takes me a while to move through. It's because I'm, I'm like, I'm trying not to ruin their stuff. So again, now it comes up here. Where does it lead to this little gap?